Welcome. My name is Al Rodenberg, and this is a new series of video podcasts introducing entrepreneurs and business owners from all over the world. Today, I'll be visiting with Brad Glassman. And Brad, did I pronounce your last name correctly? Yes, you did, Al. Great. Brad says, I've gone from being a college professor to being an engineer in the entertainment industry for 30 years, 18 and a half with the Walt Disney Company, to being a licensed agent providing financial education, services, and products. I've always led with my heart in everything I've done. I'm active in my congregation, volunteered more times than I can count, and continually put mission before commission. I believe that we only win if we all win. Since a young age, education has been an essential part of my life. I love learning and mentoring to provide more knowledge and potential to everybody, including the next generations. Well, welcome, Brad. Thank you so much for being here and, and sharing your time with us. Uh, just for those who don't know, uh, Brad, you're in the California area, correct? Yes, I'm in Los Angeles. Awesome. And so you were a college professor. What, what did you teach? I taught electronics technology, business mathematics, increasing or excuse me, improving human effectiveness level two. I taught a variety of things. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's kind of a cool combination. It's kind of eclectic in a way. Yeah, That's... they they put you where they put you where they need you sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I've I've heard that. Uh, and I'm I'm interested in your 18 and a half years with Walt Disney Company. So were you like one of the people in the, in the costumes or what, what were you doing for them? No, actually, I was at one of their studios and I was a geek. I've been a geek my whole life. I was doing hardware, software and system administration, designing software. Uh, that's what I was doing. And it was a great, very creative environment. I loved it. That's awesome. So how would your, your friends and family describe you? I'm sure they would say I'm passionate and driven and very caring, or at least I hope they would say that. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure we all would hope that, right? So no, that's great. I can see that in, in everything you've told me. Um, so are, are you originally from California? Yes, I'm one of the few natives. It's a running joke here with us, native Californians. Mm -hmm. And I've been in Los Angeles County uh, almost my whole life so far. Very cool. Very cool. So what was your dream job as a child? Did you anticipate you would be doing this, for example? I didn't anticipate I would be doing financial services, but my dream job, I wanted to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. I... I loved and respected my teachers and they were great mentors and I saw the difference that they made and I always just wanted to be a teacher. Yeah. Well, you have such a dramatic impact on people, I think, when you're teaching in a lot of ways. So I, I can certainly understand that. Um, so what drives you? What's your, your passion in life? My passion in life is stepping up. It's being there for others. It's being a mentor, which I may not have had in a specific realm or a specific area when I was younger. It's knowing how I could affect people's lives mm -hmm. and helping to improve them and not just for the current generation, but God willing, future generations. I wish more people thought like that. You know, sometimes I look at government and it uh, doesn't feel like that, but Hopefully uh, you don't want to get me started on government. <laughs> <laughs> no, me neither. Um, so what's your biggest pet peeve? What, what uh, ticks you off the, besides government? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest pet peeve would have to be when you're trying to help someone or you're sharing something and the individual just says no and walks away. Because now they're shutting down the conversation and they're limiting their growth. They're limiting their knowledge. They're limiting their potential benefit that they could have. So yeah, that's my big. Yeah, no, I can totally understand. I think sometimes that comes from fear of the unknown. Absolutely. You know, and, uh, but yeah, that's, that's a good point. So tell us a little bit about what you do. What I do is 
mostly I start with education. Um, I can't look at what I do as sales. Otherwise, I know I would fail. Uh, I need to know that I'm educating people. I'm bringing value to them. I provide financial solutions. I'm part of the network that provides over 50% of all financial products sold in America, anywhere from literally life insurance, annuities, pet insurance, um, IRAs, so forth and so on. Uh, so I'm very proud that I'm with a company representing as many carriers as possible because if I was working for a carrier, then I could say, here's our best two products. But representing so many carriers, I could work for the client or the friend and say, right. here's good products from these one carriers, and here's the best, and here's why. Makes a lot of sense. Um, and how did you get started in the financial industry? I mean, you've done other things, so it, it, it's an interesting transition, it would seem. Um, actually, a lot of people have said it's a strange transition from engineer to financial professional. But realistically, they don't know in the background. I've helped so many people um, get free. Now I just be, I'm able to be compensated for helping people, you know, with more than just being the guidance of being debt free. Um, I've always made, well, typically made very wise decisions financially. When I was young, not so much, but I've done very well for myself. And now this gives me the platform to help so many others. Wow. Well, that's a great perspective. And I'm I'm sure that you're, the people you interact with are very, very grateful to, for that. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your work-life balance. How do you de-stress? De-stress? Um, it would have to, well, one of the ways is, and I know I don't do it enough, but I love hot yoga. Um, I've been doing that off and on for over five years, more off than on, I admit. But another way is just getting together with friends and family, enjoying a meal, getting, um, finding out what's going on in their lives and sharing what's going on in mine and just being an active participant in my community. Sure. So. That's awesome. And if you had to recommend several books for people to read, what would you recommend? In my industry or just personally? I think for personal growth. Uh, for personal growth, and it actually does overlap into my industry, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. It has a lot to do with money, but also it has a lot of nuances and quotes in there that are usable in everyday life, and they make a difference. And for those who aren't aware of that, that's by Robert Kiyosaki. Yes, it is. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a, a great, great book. Is there anything that... Uh you would like to share with people that maybe I have not asked you about? Yes. Continually educate yourselves. Mm -hmm. Never assume you know the answer. Always be willing to listen. And if it's okay, um, there's a new movement going on in uh, America where it's already happened in the state of Washington and currently being rolled out in both California and New York, and then 13 more states after that, it's a new tax that you can opt out of. It's for long-term care. Find out more about it. If you have someone you trust, talk to them about it, or please reach out to me directly. That would be wonderful. Brad, how can uh, our viewers find you online? Where would they go? I am, er well, not everywhere, but they can find me at <laughs> my website bradgfinancial.com. Okay. I'm on LinkedIn, and I also have a Facebook site, Planning for Your Future. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us today, Brad. I, I really appreciate it. I'm sure the viewers appreciate it, and hopefully we can talk again sometime in the near future and 
and get to learn a little bit more about you and about the advice you can give to people. Thank you so much. Thank you, Al. I definitely appreciate it.